Hey there everybody, thanks for joining me for another One Man Review. Today I'll be taking a look at two issues of a new anthology series, Underground Kingdom Comics. This is organized and edited by Matt Greaves, and it's a representation of what's going on in the underground of UK comics. So that's why it's the Underground Kingdom UK Comics. Uh, there's two issues here, six artists apiece. I'll admit I'm a little bit disappointed in that two of the artists that I was really excited about are Michael D. Kennedy and uh, James Cor Corcoran, and they just provided the covers. I didn't realize they weren't providing stories for it. So the artists that are listed, there's three artists, one on the cover, one on the inside. This one is uh, an artist named Forp, and then there's an artist that does the back cover. This is Adam Falp here, so the inside back cover. And then you get the list of all the artists on the back. So there's three just doing like pinups, and then there's three stories per issue. This uh, this first issue is themed around crime comics, and this first story here is Matt Greaves's entry in this. Really nice cartooning in here. Really nice like um, you know second extra color in there. It's about like a heist gone wrong type of thing. But yeah, just giving you an idea of what the art looks like in these. I don't want to spoil any of the stories because they're pretty short and this just came out. Definitely think you should get it. Uh, but yeah, really nice cartooning by Matt Grief. So I'll, I'll be keeping an eye out for anything else that, that Matt does. Then here you get an artist named Tom Nisha. Really interesting style on this one. Looks like it's very digitally produced. Uh, vector graphics probably... Um, has like a very like game type of look to it and also has a game mechanism built into it where basically like crime is something that gets put out like as jobs that people can just go pick up a little ticket you know to do a crime and work their way up in in the levels of how intense the crime gets and stuff like that but really like the style the bio says that Tom Nisha doesn't do much comics tends to be an illustrator but this is a pretty interesting comic, so I'd like to see more. And then here is a piece by Ethan Llewellyn. Reminds me a bit of Los Bros. I don't know something about it with like a second color in there. Uh, again, like a just short little crime comic, so I'm not going to spoil it. A lot of good cartooning in here, but uh, there's also a lot of headshots. I would have liked to have seen more um, pulled back images, but there is like a claustrophobicness to how much focus on the face. So that's the crime issue. And then, then the horror issue, you get the cover by Michael Kennedy, which is always very exciting to see more of his work. Then Anna Reedman provides a really nice, like gnarly illustration on the inside front cover here. Kai Reynolds tells the story, Agony Tides. And this one's just a bit creepy. It's like a relationship getting creepy. Pretty explicit imagery in it, so I'm not going to sit on that too long. Uh, then also the 13th Portal by Samuel Hickson. Samuel Hickson, someone else who I was really excited about when I saw the list of artists. I really enjoy his uh, self-title. or I, I forget what it's called, but he has an anthology that he puts together of his own work that's really nice. Um, and just some of the imagery here, I think, is, you know, indicative of why I like Samuel Hickson so much. Some really nice sci-fi stuff, and then going into this awesome, like, trippy, psychedelic horror. Really nice use of graphic design and use of this second color that they're working with. You get a, another piece by Forp here, a cartoon piece about a very old shark that they're hunting down. And it's nice to see Forp in the comics form. Um, those are the three stories in this one. And then you get a illustration by another artist I was very excited about and hoping to see a story from Garish, whose work, uh, Disco Levante, I, I really liked. And whose um, new Boogaloo Race, I think, is his new book that he's working on on Instagram. Looks very cool. So very excited about that. But yeah, really great little anthology. Great art in every one of these and a great selection of artists. Hopefully they'll be able to do more of these and we'll get to see more of what's going on in the UK. Uh, Gareth Brooks would be someone really awesome for this. There's a lot of really great artists over in the UK uh, that I'm really excited about. So this is a really cool one and definitely go out and get yourself a copy.
Make sure to like, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell.